my first impression uh, was um, strong work, strong story, strong characters, uh, strong topic. Definitely something that I wanted to become part of. Um, I remember going to the, uh, to the callback and saying to myself, I have to do something here to, to stand out, to, to, to pop. So at the callback, I met the actor who was playing my son, Alan, and it was a strong scene. And I remember I grabbed him and I slammed him against the wall and I pulled his shirt. I kind of stretched his shirt out and I actually hit his jaw and his teeth collided. And then I delivered my lines. Stay, we, we, we didn't break character, we stayed in character. And then I looked into his eyes and I ran my fingers through his hair. And a couple of days later, I got, I got the, uh, the offer. Then I received the whole script. And I remember reading the whole script and coming to the ending. And then all of a sudden, here comes this phenomenal ending. And I'm like, putting it down, I'm like, wow. Yeah, that's, that's really cool stuff, you know? I really, really dug that, really dug that. Strong work, yeah, that was my impression. I see it as a, it's a depiction of a dysfunctional family that finds a way to function again. Um, controversial way, sure. It's a study of uh, the human character, I would say, of this family. I mean, we, we're seeing how this family deals with certain issues behind their front door, behind their bedroom door. And whether society believes it's right or wrong, it doesn't matter because what happens in their house and their little bubble is okay if it works. So that's how, I, that's how I see it. Uh, Ernesto would be a, a testosterone-fueled monster of a man, um, a product of the tough love generation. Um, I think Ernesto is a... Uh, not a bad person, a misguided person, uh, a person, um, a product of his upbringing. Um, but no, I don't think he's a bad person. I, I think uh, the scene, the ending scene uh, on, the, uh, on the boat in the lake, he realizes his uh, he realizes that his ways weren't the right way, and he tries to make amends with Alan. And Alan realizes and sees a different side of his father at that moment. And because of Ernesto embracing his good side and making an effort to change his ways, things uh, align again, because things were way off track at that time. So no, I, I, Ernesto's a, a misguided soul. He's a, an in, a product of his environment, and that's something he can't control. You know, you can't control where you're born or what happens to you when you're a child. And as long as you try to rectify your wrongs and make them right, um, I would consider that a good person. So I think he's just a misguided soul. When I got on set, I stayed away from everybody. I kind of isolated myself from the, from the crew and from the other actors. Uh, I remember everybody would eat, and everybody had their little clique and so forth, and I would sit in the back and mind my own business and so forth. And, and, it, and it worked, and it worked out because my first scene with the other actors was, it's, it's a scene where Ernesto comes back from one of his leaves and you know, like when a family member leaves for a while, you know, when they come back into the group, there's always that adjustment period going on, you know? So that's what was written in, in the script. And then by me staying away from everybody, 
when I entered that room, that was there, that was organic, because we were strangers. And it shows on the other actors' faces, I believe. I mean, I, I, I felt it when I saw it. So it's one of those moments where what I was doing just coincided with the schedule of the day or whatever. So that's, that's how I uh, went about playing Ernesto. I remember on set at the last scene at the dinner table where I took the character a little too far and I got very emotional and it was Tear City and so forth and we did one take, a very emotional take and I remember the director come, came up to us and said no, no and we broke and we went into the bedroom and we had a discussion and I appreciate where you are emotionally, but that's not the way I see Ernesto. Ernesto is a man who's not in touch with his feelings to that point where he will cry like this, you know? Even at his most uh, vulnerable state, this man has, he just doesn't have the ability to, to show emotion, you know? So after you know, walking around the block a few times and so forth. We went back and we filmed it. And we, we, we filmed it the way the script was written with Ernesto being more of a very dominating center kind of figure with not much emotion. In, in a very, very emotional uh, uh, scene where I took it personal. When I saw the character of Alan, that, that just took me into that whole other uh, dark, uh, dark place that I was in. So, yeah, that, that was it. I personally, I don't feel it's controversial. I think society will see it controversial. I know that when I accepted this role. Uh, I would always be uh, associated with this film, and I had no problem with that whatsoever. This movie contained, uh, you know, a nudity. It contains a subject matter that is not everybody's cup of tea, and that's cool, and that and that's good. But uh, me personally, I'm I'm fine with it. Um, I believe um, we're on this planet for a short time, and we all got to do what we got to do to be happy, you know, and. I don't spend any time judging and pointing fingers. I really don't. Um, I grew up as a Catholic boy, you know, as an altar boy and so forth, and I could tell you things that I saw there and things that I've seen throughout my life that just makes me look at things in general with a grain of salt, you know? So, me personally, no. I got no problem with it. I don't find it controversial.